Incline bench work is a lot harder than doing horizontal bench work. You know this from doing sit-ups or on an incline and uh, the uh, the steeper it is the harder it gets and the fewer reps you can do. The same goes with bench presses and uh, whether you uh, incline your bench press to uh, positive degrees or negative degrees below horizontal is the same thing. The explanation has to do with math, of course, trigonometry namely, and I printed here cosine function, so that's what we're going to do with the scientific calculator. In this picture what I have is a representation of a bunch of angles. Uh, zero degree would be horizontal to the floor and 90 degrees perpendicular to the floor vertical. And uh, you know that if you can uh, say when you're uh, on a horizontal bench, you're doing bench presses, uh, the weight is moving up and down, gravity is pulling it down this way, it's not a machine, the, it's a barbell, it's moving through air, there is no friction with air for now, and uh, the gravity is moving uh, the weight down this way, and you have to exert an equal and opposite force uh, in this direction to make it go up, and uh, in this scenario, what the cosine function tells us, if I enter cosine 0, 0 degree, equals 1. It means 1 means 100%. Your, uh, the bench's efficiency and, uh, and your strength is uh, at 100%. At this is 100% in re reference to all the other angles, okay? So when uh, when you move to 90 degrees you know if you can uh, bench press uh, say 100 pounds or 200 pounds or 200 kilos uh, whatever it is you can nearly uh, move the same weight vertically uh, not only uh, because uh, because the uh, large chest muscles uh, are engaged to a lesser and lesser degree and more of the shoulder is doing the work at 90 degrees you're either doing military presses or presses behind the neck and all of the work is done by the shoulders if you enter cosine 90 cosine 90 that equals zero zero percent of your chest muscles are for example in this comparison are engaged in 90 degree bench work okay uh, so your strength is there. Your strength is strength is not reduced, but uh, say uh, what this zero means is that uh, in comparison to the flat bench, uh, the 90 degree bench works zero percent of your chest muscles <clears throat> and 100 percent of your shoulder muscles, and the same way, just the opposite uh, the opposite percentage. And of course, uh, doing flat presses does work the triceps and the and the shoulders to a certain degree but don't nitpick here just get the big idea the efficiency of your of your bench work is uh, is reduced with the angles and you can handle less and less and less weight so that's what's represented here by uh, these numbers cosine 0 and cosine 90 there you have it in the picture and the rest of the rest of the uh, angles, the cosines of them are 30, 45 and 60 degree cosines are those numbers if you enter cosine 30 sorry cosine not sine, cosine 30 you get 86 point you get 0 0.866 out of it and uh, if you move the decimal two spots over you get 86 percent out of it the the 30 degree incline bench work uh, reduces your effective strength uh, to about 86 percent of what it was when the bench was horizontal and horizontal at zero degrees you had 100 percent of your effective strength available to you okay and at 45 it's only 70 percent and at 60 degree bench work it's it's only 50 percent you're half as strong on a 60 degree bench basically than on a zero degree bench. Uh, now that would 
if we continued with the numbers, that would mean that at 90 degrees you are 0% strong. Uh, that's not exactly the same because anatomy doesn't work quite like that. Like I said, uh, you're working your shoulders, but you're working 0% of your chest muscles. Okay. So uh, the cosine function does explain uh, a great deal why incline bench work is a lot harder. And just a few degrees make uh, make a whole lot of difference.